Hi everyone! How are we all? I hope you're all doing really well, having a really good day. Welcome back to Zara Haul. I feel like it's been a little while. Has it? I don't know. Now we're exposing the black ugly leather sofa that we really don't want in here. Anyway, hello! Welcome back to Zara Haul. This will be a try and haul as always. Everything will be linked down below. I feel like this intro has been an absolute shambles. I feel like I've literally just woken up, even though I've been up for an hour. But you know when your eyes are like really sleepy? So we're just gonna get on with the haul. Otherwise we could be here forever. This first thing I got I thought would be so cute for like spring and summer. Um, it's this little like two piece and it's like blue and white stripe now the only thing i'm not sure about is the material because it's giving like crinkly unironed like intentionally wrinkled but i feel like this is something you would wear and then you'd see your nan and she'd ask you if she, you want her to if she wants you to iron it no if she wants if you want her to iron it for you because it's all crinkled like it's intentionally meant to be crinkled and don't get me wrong i am one of the last people to pull that iron out that cupboard and set up that ironing board because i cannot be bothered in a way would i rather wear my clothes creased probably um but i just don't know if like this would annoy me knowing that you're not even meant to iron it does that make sense but i got in an extra small it was 25.99 it's like a little waistcoat with this tie kind of detail in the front which i feel like is really really popular at the moment and then i also got the matching trousers to go with it but the model was actually wearing this with another pair of trousers which were blue and white stripe as well but they were like more blue than white and they were again this like wrinkly crinkly material and i actually quite like the juxtaposition of like the different blue and white um, but i thought i'd get the matching ones and these i also got in an extra small did i say for reference i'm five foot five and i'm a size six if i didn't say that there you go um and these are just some wide leg these look really comfy to be fair but again they're kind of giving pajama vibes which i love but i just feel like the older generation would love to make a comment on that so take that risk if you want um but they've got like little buttons on the front and then they just go straight down i feel like these would be so comfy these would look really really nice on the beach with like a little bikini top you know just to kind of chuck them on or for like pizza in an evening on the beach i feel like these will be like these are so summery like on holiday in england you could wear them super nice and elasticated um and these were 29.99 and i feel like together they look really cute but also you could easily like wear them separately as well did i buy two pairs oh got two pairs of trousers apparently i decided to order them in a size small and a size extra small unsure why i did that i will try on the extra small ones in the um child clips for reference but apparently i have two pairs of them now i'm not too sure why i've done that then i got this top which is so so boring but the model made this look incredible it is literally i think they called this oversized vest top or something like that it is literally just a vest top like this like so so basic but we all know i love a vest top we know i love basic things and the model was wearing it with like a little knot in it like she'd knotted either the back or the front of it i think like tied a little knot in it and it looked so cute and i thought this with the town would be so nice and i just actually really like the shape of it like although i have many a vest top most of them are tight whereas this one's like a nice like baggy one which i thought was a little bit different it was 11.99 and i got it in a size small the back is like kind of as low scoop as the front is and i just thought it's really versatile like it'll go with a lot like just chuck this on with some denim shorts and it's gonna look good it's just one of those things that would work well with everything chuck it over the top of a bikini loads of things like that and then i also got a pair of trousers which are again pretty basic they're just a pair of simple white wide leg trousers because i've been on the hunt for like a really nice pair i do have a pair of like white wide leg trousers already which i love from sun Darbe, but they've got big belt loops and sometimes they don't work with everything so i just wanted to get kind of another pair that would work with everything so i thought i would try these ones because they're just pretty basic bog standard like a little bit of pleating detail kind of masculine style wide leg white trousers and i just thought in the springtime these are so easy to style they're like quite practical for the british kind of springtime weather they look really nice with like hair down or slick back with some sunglasses you can dress them up dress them down and they're just super super versatile and these i got in an extra small and then if you saw my last art haul you'd have seen i got this dress that's really really popular at the moment it's kind of giving me me vibes and i decided to get something else from the same collection because zara came out with a lot of like belted type things which were giving me me so i decided to get the little top which actually is undone for me trying on i saw someone wearing this on instagram and it kind of just sold me to it like obviously i'd seen it online when i got the dress and i was like mm, it's nice but like i don't really think i'm gonna wear it but then yeah i got sucked in by the instagram lure and um i bought it now i don't know if i love it like i don't know if i'm gonna return it because i just don't know where i would wear this to but it's just like a brown kind of structured slightly giving vest top with this belt detail which just kind of sits under your boobs and i thought with like white wide leg trousers or like a skirt or something could look really cute but to me i feel like this is kind of like a nice 
evening drinks type top or like a bit more like london-y kind of vibes and i just don't live in london so i just don't really know when i'm gonna wear this like this isn't really the kind of thing i would pop on to walk around cambridge and go shopping but i'd probably pop it on to wear around london do you know what i mean so i just don't know if like i'm gonna get enough wear out of it but i got this in an extra small and it was 25.99 which i didn't think was a bad price and i quite like it's also got this like white stitching detail on it um, like on the front and the back which i quite like and it does look quite expensive as well like i do feel like it is giving the Mimi designer vibes but i just don't really know where i'm gonna wear that to and then i got another like beigey earthy tone top and this one's actually really really pretty um it's actually a bodysuit i love the material of this it's like classic like zara do a lot of basics in this material like the best tops the t-shirts so it's that like classic really lovely thick material and it's just this like off the shoulder bodysuit. It kind of just sits like this. And at first I didn't know if that was going to be really, really annoying. Like the fact that it's kind of off the shoulder, but you kind of keep wanting to yank it up and then it slips down because it's not meant to be on your shoulder. Do you know what I mean? But actually it fits and sits really, really nicely. And I didn't find it annoying. And I love the colour. I think this like mushroomy taupey colour is absolutely gorgeous. It fits so nicely. Um, and then the bodysuit is a proper bodysuit, which we all know that is like the best bit. I hate the bodysuits that are like non-popper because it just makes going to the toilet like the worst thing in the world so this we love i got this i think they did this in a few colors i want to say they definitely did it in a black but i can't quite remember so i got this in a small and it was only 15.99 which i thought was so good and again it's the type of thing you can dress up dress down quite a versatile piece like but like, this would work both in the daytime and the evening and for 15.99 as well i didn't think that was bad at all like i thought that was a really good price then i got this black waistcoat which i had really high hopes for it looked so nice on the model she was just wearing it with some black wide day trousers and nothing underneath which is how i wore it in the triangle but let me tell you it did not look anywhere near as good on me as it did on her I think maybe slightly bigger boobs and slightly darker tan would have made this look a little bit better but I still think I'm going to return it because it's even like in the summertime I mean my boobs aren't going to magically grow but I will get more tan but I still just don't think it looked as good on me as I was hoping but it's just this little black waistcoat I got it in a small might be a little bit difficult to see because I find like when I hold black up on camera you can't really see it but it's literally just a simple like sleeveless waistcoat type thing it's got these like fake pockets on either side it's got a single button in the middle it's quite low down on the sides on the arms as well which i do quite like like i do find that kind of flattering however if you were to actually go out in this with nothing on underneath you might want to put some tape on because i feel like you know when you've got big gaping holes in the side and you've got quite um it is quite um open on the front here you got to make sure that things are you know staying in place and so you're not like exposing your dignity and then this is the back pretty plain and simple but yeah on the model if you see this on the website if you like click the link down below or whatever this looked stunning like i said it just didn't look quite as good on me as i was hoping this next one i haven't tried on but i'm kind of thinking it might be giving the same vibes of the black waistcoat as in it looked good on the model but i'm not sure it's gonna look as good on me but it's this like green kind of kimono type thing now if i saw this in the shop i would have walked past it and i wouldn't have thought twice about it but the model was wearing this with like nothing on like you can get matching trousers to go with it but there was a picture of her wearing this almost like a dress she had like no trousers on or anything and i thought it looked really really lovely and on holiday i thought it'd be really nice so i've picked it up but now i'm like looking at it i'm kind of thinking is this just going to be giving dressing gown vibes but it's this gorgeous like khaki sort of green colour. It's got, it's a little bit hard to hold up for some reason. Um, It's got like a little bit of a, this label, I don't know why that's there, but that actually sits on the inside. It's got a bit of a collar to it and then it belts round. Um, And I got this in an extra small to small. But I just don't know, like I need to try it on, but I'm kind of thinking potentially like it could look quite nice with certain heels and stuff on holiday. Like styled the right way, I think it could look kind of cute. I just need to try it on and hope for the best. <laughs> And I hope it's not a repeat of the um, black waistcoat situation. I did then pick up another vest top from Zara because I don't already have about five of these in different colours. But I saw this in the shop and the colour just sold it to me. I don't know what it is about this pink colour at the moment, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this. And that is coming from a girly who doesn't even wear pink and wears neutral colours. But I just can't like help it with this pink colour. So this is just one of the classic like zara vest tops you know and i literally love these i wear these all the time and i just couldn't resist this pink like it is the most gorgeous like bubble gum slash baby pink like i'm obsessed with this and i thought like with um the white trousers where are they here we go like these together i thought could look really cute will i actually wear this i don't know because i feel like if i had this in a drawer and there was my black one and my beige one and my white one and this one i probably wouldn't pick this one over those because i'm a neutral girly but i just love this color like it is absolutely stunning 
I just can't cope. And then the last thing I got is actually a t-shirt from the men's section because I just love the men's section's t-shirts. I just actually got two, forgot about that. I just think they're so fun. So the first one I got is this one. It's just a white one. Um, I really like the font on this. It kind of looks like handwriting and it says, this is based on a real life story. Just thought that was kind of cool. I got it in a large and it fits really nice and oversized. And then I also got this one, which I saw on a TikTok, I think, which is what made me have a look at the men's section stuff in the first place. This I also got in a large, so it'll fit the same. And it says khaki green one. On the front it says, gear up, camp on, ready for adventure. And I mean, I'm not really a camping girly. Like it's not really my vibe. However, I just thought this back of it was really cool. It's got like different camping things on, like a chair, a backpack, a tent, I mean everything that's not my vibe, but I just thought this was really cool. It says, indispensable survival gear, eight must have for, that's annoying, eight must have for your outdoor adventure, but that should say eight must haves. That's just really bugging me, like that punctuality. Um, I probably am gonna have to return it just for that reason, because that just really bugs me, that's really bad English, but I thought the um, little pictures and stuff on the back was kind of cute. So, that is everything for Sarah Hall. Little bit of a random one. I do feel like the shops at the moment are in a bit of an awkward phase where we're kind of transitioning from winter to spring, and like I've been shopping a couple of times recently, both to like Primark, Zara, H&M, and I just feel like they're lacking a little bit, like I just feel like they're in a little bit of a rut. So hopefully, the shops are on the up and the good clothes will start to come out a little bit more, and we can start doing bigger, longer, more frequent Zara hauls. Because I feel like recently we've kind of plateaued with them just because the stuff hasn't been that good. So come on Zara, up your game. Anyway, thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you at some point soon with another video. Bye.